We'll call a uh, meeting to order. This is the uh, City Commission and Center for the Arts workshop. It's Monday, May the 8th, 2023. It's 5 p.m. If you'd please stand for the invocation and the pledge. Heavenly Father, we ask that you look over us tonight, help us to make good decisions for the city of Leesburg. We do this in your name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so tonight we're going to have a presentation from the uh, Center for the Arts. Uh, I would ask all the board members, let's let them have their presentation, and then we'll go with a question and session, if that's okay. All righty, so. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, City Commissioners, and staff. Um, I'm Amanda McClee. I'm the board chair for the Leesburg Center for the Arts. And I want to thank you tonight for your time, and we appreciate your continued support of our center. Um, but at this time, I'd like to allow our board of directors and our executive board to introduce themselves very quickly. Richard, can I have you come up for just a few minutes and give a presentation? On behalf of the Leesburg Center for the Arts, um, thank you, commissioners, for having us tonight. Um, we're very mindful of your support, um, and it's only because of your generosity with the building that we occupy that the center has been able to survive. Um, I came to Leesburg for uh, two things, um, for two reasons. One is uh, I have affection for the center, which I had been involved with through some uh, previous administrations, and also a affection for the art community here in Leesburg. And I'm also, I'm here because of my determination that culture matters. I believe that uh, art transforms lives. And this is true of all art, our specialty is visual art, but we'll collaborate with all the different arts and incorporate them into our educational mission and practice. I've been very uh, fortunate as an artist and also as a museum prof professional for over 40 years uh, to have a, a series of mentors. And it's my hope to continue here in Leesburg to give back some small part of what's been given to me. Thank you. So we'd like to give an update um, and share with you the lessons that we've kind of learned over the last few months to a year. Um, things that we've taken, steps that we've taken to ensure that the center is operating with integrity and honesty and transparency. Uh, we intend to move forward with those things as our forefront and our guidance um, to achieve our success with our mission. Um, but the first thing we had to do was update our financial policy. Uh, this was with new procedures. It was with placing spending limits on the executive director of the center. Um, that did not require board approval. Um, and then de detailing what those, those purchases could be. Um, being very detailed of this is specific to the center. Um, therefore, any desired purchase outside of those parameters would need a board approval going forward. The board is also contracted uh, professionally with an accounting firm, um, Hammond English and Fraser Accounting. They're local here to Leesburg. And it has a defined scope of work including a detailed process of how that accounting firm must report back financially to the board every month without fail. So this contract will be uh, renew or reviewed annually and also reconsidered for renewal at that time. 
So no longer will there be a just, yep, we're going to just continue. We'll review that and look at its metrics for success. And then finally, the entire board will have access to our financial reporting. For example, uh, view only access to our bank account, um, our QuickBooks online so they can see any purchases and what they, what they go to. And also, um, we've asked our accountant to um, come and report to the board in person rather than directly to one person on the board or the executive director. Um, and we are currently in search of a treasurer. Uh, we had a treasurer that did step forward. However, she has become just a general board member because her uh, work has taken her to Maitland, which now prevents her from doing a working treasurer role. So that is now um, overseen by myself, along with our executive director. Any questions about the finding? Oh, we were going to hold them. I'm sorry. As board chair, I worked very closely with Sasha Velez. She is the senior investiga or financial investigator with the Office of Agriculture Law Enforcement, a.k.a. the Department of Ag. Um, during this time, we reviewed our policies that we made changes to with Ms. Velez and took some suggestions that she had and incorporated those into our new practice. And then I also gained some knowledge of previous late filings um, a history of improper documentation that the center, before any of us were overseeing this role, um, which caused great problems in the in the in the past. So we have re repaired that relationship, um, and she's offered her ongoing assistance as we proceed forward in our future. I'm happy to report that we are in good standing with the Department of Ag, and I've provided that documentation in your packet. Um, so we will continue to work with that department because I feel that's very imperative to our status as a nonprofit organization in Florida. Um, our SunBez is currently being updated. Um, Danielle Parker was the previous board chair before myself, and she recently resigned, so that is in the process of being updated. All of the other officers are listed and are accurate. Um, with the exception of Ken, he will be added as well. He's a new board member. Um, at this time, I'd like Josh to come up real quick and just give us an update on the changes that we did to our bylaws. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, so um, we, we took a comprehensive look at the bylaws um, a, a while back, um, near the end of last year. They had only been updated once since, I think, 1988, since the inception of the bylaws and of Leesburg Center for the Arts. Uh, so we, 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 went, we went line by line, comprehensive approach to the entire bylaws, um, made changes. The two significant changes that are noted, notable would be, one, is we limited the power of the executive director, um, and number two would be installed again the spending limits that are reflected also in the financial um, uh, policy that we enacted those are also reflected in the bylaws as well uh, so that there's really more of a control uh, aspect uh, that the board has and uh, and less control for the executive director uh, as well as just more transparency on on what is being uh, transacted by the executive director. Um, so I think with those two things, we really made some big improvements to our bylaws. And, um, uh, you know, so I think that those are big steps forward for us as well. And one final uh, financial update. We uh, will proceed forward with open financial reporting, both to our community. Um, that's part of our bylaws as well. Our board on a monthly basis, obviously, and then our stakeholders, which we value you as a stakeholder, which you will be included. So my mission as the board chair going forward will be able to keep you updated financially as well as operationally what we are doing in our center. So um, I wanted to give everyone, some of you know me personally, some some of you don't. I'm, I've been in Leesburg for over 20 years. I work for Lake Medical Imaging. That's my career. So I wanted an opportunity for you to, for another person on our board, Dina, to speak on our future because I feel like as a business owner in this community, um, I think she has a vested interest but has great vision for us as well. Thank you. I'll try and keep this as brief as possible. Um, so there's no doubt that the trust has been shaken, right? We recognize that rebuilding this trust is tremendously important to each and every single one of us. We plan to do this with great integrity and to be reminded constantly of the meaning of integrity, the quality of being honest and having strong moral uprightness. That's huge for me because I'm right here on Main Street every single day with, every, with our community and owning a business that's now six years old, 
that that's big. Um, we again, as Amanda said, we will provide complete open financial reporting to our board and our stakeholders. We will continue to strengthen our board with professional development, including succession training. This was also very important to me because as a previous board member, no one had ever taught me to be on a board or how to be on a board before. So I was always in fear of taking an actual office position. No one's ever taught me that. And not really certain as to trusting everything that you see on the internet all the time either and going with that at the same time. So this is something that's really, really important to all of us is that, you know what, there will be a succession so that way when someone turns around and drops off of the board, it's not anybody and everybody just looking to pick up the pieces. They need to be trained in that position as well. Another big thing that is we will continue to always, always choose the hard right instead of taking the easy wrong. It's something we have to do. It's something that we have to do as members of this community. We need to build this community, all of us together in this room. We plan to stay focused on our mission. For those of you who don't know our mission statement, the mission statement is to provide art education, awareness, and opportunities to artists, creatives, and dabblers in the North Lake County area. Enrich and inspire our community with art and culture and be the place for local artists, creatives, and dabblers to gather, create, and collaborate. We are focusing on our programming while working within our financial ability. Finally, staying involved in our community, staying involved at all of our community events, supporting our city leaders and their missions, and collaborating with others to promote all art, not just visual art. I speak for all of us when I say we are passionate about our future, and we know that we have partnerships that will bring such enrichment to the city of Leesburg, and we know that art transforms lives. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate your any questions. So that concludes our presentation and I am anxious to hear of any questions that you have that I can clarify. Uh, first thing I'd like to ask about uh, <clears throat> your uh, Department of Agriculture letter, I noticed that the expiration date is June 9th of 23. So what, you know, that's a month away. So that's an annual review. So every June we are in, we are required to renew that license. Um, and it's, it's delinquent in November. So I'm sorry, October. So when it was filed in November, it was filed incorrectly. And so we had to make those changes and refile. And then in June, we'll have to renew it for the coming year. So they've already sent you the, the necessary information yes. that you... Yes, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then you guys also have your EIN, federal tax determination, that's all squared away? Yes, sir. That is correct. And the Florida tax ex exemption is... Yes, sir. Is all squared mm -hmm. And then you said you were updating in SunBiz? SunBiz is updated recently um, from last year. It, 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 it shows Danielle Parker as the board chair, which is not right. any longer. And then we have not added Ken Nagus, but th that paperwork is completed and we're just waiting for it to clear the system. Okay. I checked today before and it has not yet, okay. but that was done late last week. Okay, that, those were just my, my questions from, uh, from the information. What I can tell you from me personally, uh, I support the arts. I'm for the arts. Um, I'm not here to make any decisions or any promises. I feel like I need to see the complete investigation. All I have to go on right now is the uh, the affidavit from the probable cause, mm -hmm. which does not look good. So you know, I, and I don't want to pass judgment based solely on that. So I I, I really need to see the the outcome of the Department of Agriculture's before I can I can really tell you. So I did anything. speak to Mrs. Velez about that and ask her to make sure that she gave that information to not only ourselves, but to you guys as well. Um, so that should be coming from her office soon. Is the investigation, it's already complete, is it not? Well, I haven't seen anything, so that's why I, you know. Have you gotten an update, Al? 
No, I, I assume it probably is. I think um, Department of Ag seems like they kind of did the handoff to the SO, and then those, filed, those charges were filed. So I would assume uh, that would be. Can I speak on that? I know I know that um, Detective Neiman with the Lake County Sheriff's Office and Mrs. Velez were in contact. Um, he kind of disseminated the case to her, um, and verbally they were fine with what has happened. But again, I ask her to put that in writing to the commission. I just want to say, I hate that the, the art center, this happened to them, but I think they became the poster child. But I sit on another board, and we learned a lot from this investigation, and we changed a lot in the chamber board, and I know the partnership board has did as well. We updated a lot of things, learning from what happened to the Center for the Arts. So if anything, this was a big learning for all of us. Um, I think with all the procedures and policies and the leadership change, um, I would be okay with moving forward with their civic funding. And then come next civic funding, I'll be presenting something for how we handle civic funding in the budget time. Any other questions, or questions or comments? Just a couple brief comments. Um, I am a supporter. Um, I was actually on the Leesburg Partnership Board, to show my age here, when uh, the Center for the Arts was created. Uh, we kind of voted to give them some seed money, started you know, with Kathy Cook uh, way back. Um, I am a supporter. Uh, I'm sorry about what happened. Um, but uh, my position is, you know, I'm not going to penalize a 20-plus year organization you know, over one, you know, one person. So uh, you will have my support going forward. Thank you. I have a question. I'd like to ask a question as well. I, too, am a supporter. And do you have any other steps um, in place to um, basically share with what your plans are to the commission so that we would know what you would be doing going forward that you would like to share? Sure. So for if anyone can understand, it's been kind of like stopping the dumpster fire at this po point. So our focus has been mainly to get our financials under control. Obviously, um, we, the professional development side is very important to training our board and making sure that we have a strong board. Um, we have withdrawn uh, from several events this past year, obviously for cost of outlay for those events. And I, those words that Dina mentioned of, you know, staying within your budget. <laughs> so that's kind of where we have landed. Our desire is to reinvent the art festival and bring it back to Leesburg. Um, we feel like that's a crucial, crucial thing for our community. Um, Actually, over the weekend on Friday night, we had an art exhibit opening, and I had the pleasure of meeting finally Simone um, Richardson from Artists with a Purpose. She has a huge vision, and she and I have lunch scheduled. So um, we want to collaborate with the with our arts. I sit on the Rotary Club as well for Sunrise, um, and Dustin Levine is on our Rotary Club. So he has performing arts um, in his purview. So we want to collaborate with those arts and bring, bring great things to Leesburg. Um, so th th it is to continue our mission with that, but also we are thankful for the involvement from leadership here to be part of our board and, and spread our joy. So um, I hope that answered your question. Uh, are you operating right now at all? I know you're not doing many events, but you are operating. Yes, in some yes. Capacity. Actually, our program, Richard, I have to give all the glory to Richard. He's done a fantastic job with okay. our our programming. Um, our art, you with our 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 uh, youth, has increased dramatically. We're up to twelve or thirteen. Richard, am I right? Yeah, weekly. Weekly, which was. I am going to report our membership as well. Paid membership to the center is up. So um, financially, we are stabilizing. 
Okay, and okay. So that, you took, yes. You're leading in my next question. Yes, I was curious. Are, I don't. I don't need specific numbers, but right. you are. You have money right now to operate yes. at least because we have right now. I guess the plan is for us to go through budget, so it would be months before we. Yeah, you know, through the budget process to to send any money that direction. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. We held ten thousand from last civic funding, and it was ten or fifteen thousand until commission's decision to fund that. So okay. there's ten well, or fifteen thousand. I would, I would support there. releasing that money. You know, okay. I thought it was I, okay. I, I appreciate that. I forgot about yeah. that. Um, I just want to clarify. We'll go through budget, you know, in, in July, so it, it would be some time before we approve new money. But I was I'd, I'd support releasing that. Well, to speak to that, um, Commissioner Peterson, we intend to provide a, vo a budget for what that civic funding is spent for and what we plan to do with that, um, as well as report back to you once that money has been spent and what we intended for it to be spent on on the initial budget to, to actual. So that will be a, a standard reporting that you'll get going forward, whether you require it at this level or not. That's our, that's our intent. Number was ten thousand six hundred and seventy dollars. Um, I was personal friends with the prior executive director. So I want to word this carefully. Um, is she involved in any capacity right now with any events at all? Absolutely Did, not. Okay, thank you. You probably know why I asked that question. And, and just to dovetail on on Mike's question, um, you know, we are a big supporter. Um, you guys were the victim. Is it your plan to pursue uh, criminal charges or what? The Center for the Arts, yes. yes. Okay. And this is not just going to go away. It, no, the answer is no. I, I I have a personal opinion on this that I'll share. I'll share with you probably incorrectly, but I'm going to. I don't care what the not dollar amount was. It is a doll a penny. That is not yours, is not yours. Gotcha. And that's my take. As long as I'm involved, and I, I think I speak for all of these ladies and gentlemen on this, that is an absolute no. So we are pursuing criminal charges. These things, ha these things happen. I'll, I'll confess, I was on the board when this happened, um, and it was embarrassing, and uh, we got it right. But uh, I, I've been in your position. It's tough, I know. So thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Can I make a motion to release the funds to the Center for the Arts? Second. Can we do that in a workshop or do we need to do that? It's not a workshop. I, is this a work? To, what is this? Workshop? Is it a workshop? So we need to do it in commission meeting? Yeah, just do You can do it. All right, so I'll bring that up under the commission meeting, which starts in a few minutes. Okay, thank you. Any other thank questions you. I can answer? Again, thank you. thank you for your time. Uh, we encourage you to come over and check us out. And um, we meet the third Wednesday of the month. I'll be happy to send that to uh, Mr. Minner so that he can put it in your calendar. If, just for expediency, if you just want to do it by consent, because it, it, it's a it's a number that's under is within my spending authority. Well, so well I was going to say at least poll the commission right now so they can walk out of here knowing if they yeah, have the money or not. I mean, All right, so under the, consent, releasing the, the, the fiscal year twenty three allocation that you held in abeyance yeah, to release. And, and I'll second it. and I'll support it. it. I wouldn't even second it. Okay. Do we need a roll it, call? I'll just say if it's the general co consensus of the commission yes. that that needs to occur underneath my spending authority, I can release that. So I'm seeing everybody. I'm seeing. No. Uh, I, I got. I'm a no. I'm a no until we see the final report. I got. I. I, I got. I, I'm reading the tea leaves, so I'll get the money released. Thank you, and I look forward to uh, the continued partnership with the Leesburg Center for the Arts. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We've got about seven minutes. We can, can't start the next meeting until 5.30, so just relax and give us seven minutes. <laughs> Couldn't give it to him after what I said.
We'll call to order the City Commission meeting Monday, May 28th, 2023. It is 5.32. Uh, we've already had an invocation and a pledge at an earlier meeting. So we're going to move into the proclamations. <clears throat> First proclamation is for the recognizing the Leesburg High School FFA chapter. Whereas the City of Leesburg wishes to congratulate the members of the Leesburg High School FFA chapter on their accomplishments in the 2022-2023 school year, and whereas the Leesburg FFA chapter currently has 160 members and the advisor is Ms. Kelsey Croft, who is in her third year with the program and is the first female to hold this position at Leesburg High School. And whereas FFA makes a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for leadership, personal growth, and career success <clears throat> through uh, agricultural ed education, and whereas as part of their agricultural experience, each year many members raise livestock, including pigs, poultry, goats, and steers that are entered into the Lake County Fair. And at the 2023 fair, the following members earned special awards for their steers. Emma Prater, she got Big Jim's First Time Out Award. Mackenzie Pavia, uh, class two champion, Emerson Dykus, class six champion, FFA grand champion steer, all over reserve champion, champion steer, second place senior showmanship steer, senior skillathon champion. Whereas the state FFA degree is the highest honor bestowed upon any regular member of the Florida FFA Association with less than 2% of the FFA members earning it. And this year, five members from the Leesburg chapter, Emerson, Emerson Dykus, Nathan Rowland, Shane Tice, William Tucker, and Emily Allison will be awarded their state FFA degrees at the 95th state of Florida State Convention. And whereas, as along with the projects, chapter members participate in as part of their FFA program, they also give back to our city, city by volunteering and supporting community service activities. Now, therefore, I, James A. Burry, Jr., Mayor of the City of Leesburg, do hereby proclaim the achievements of the Leesburg High School FFA chapter members uh, recognize the importance of their commitment to the agriculture industry and wish them success in their future endeavors. Thank you. Come up. If you guys would come up to the front and we can take a picture. Pam said, Pam told me that I'm around. Don't do it. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Our second uh, proclamation is uh, recognizing the Leesburg High School boys weightlifting team. <clears throat> Whereas the city of Leesburg wishes to congratulate the Leesburg High School boys weightlifting team 
on their outstanding performances throughout the historic 2022-2023 season. And whereas the LHS boys weightlifting team is led by head, head coach Josh Boyer and assistant coach Corey Broomfield, and under Coach Boy's tenure, they have won district and regional titles in both Olympic and traditional lifting and have brought home 20 state medals. And whereas through hard work and perseverance, the 2022-2023 team finished third in the FHSAA Class 2A traditional category and won the FHSAA Class 2 Olympic Weightlifting Championship, the first team weightlifting title for Leesburg High School and the best finish ever for a Lake County school. And whereas at the 2022-2023 FHSAA Class 2A Weightlifting Championship, the following lifters medaled in their re uh, respective weight classes. Caden Adams placed six in Olympic. Zach Field placed six in Olympic. Dakota Double placed six in traditional. Logan Thompson placed six in Olympic. Jeremy Lacey placed third in traditional. Donovan Cervantes was runner-up in, in Olympic. Danny Inglerth was runner-up in Olympic. Josh Cheney was runner-up in both Olympic and traditional. Sylvester Lattimore won both the Olympic and traditional titles and is also the FS FHSAA record holder for both snatch and Olympic totals and holds all school records in the 119 pound weight class. And whereas while the sport of weightlifting is in many aspects an individual effort, team spirit and support are an, an integral part for each lifter's success and the members of the 2022 20 23 LHS boys weightlifting team are as follows. Caden Adams, Gage Anderson, Barath Balaji, Corey Braco, Donovan Cervetes, Josh Cheney, Tyrell Davis, Dakota Double, Gage Eland, Daniel uh, Engel, Engelerth, Ben Farling, Josh, Josh Field, Fett Mian, I'm close. Jake <laughs> Hernandez, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Timothy Kinsey, uh, Malachi Knox, Jeremy Lacey, Sylvester Lattimore, Savion Lattimore, Ezra Mann, Jacob Miller, Aiden Moose, Adriel Morales, Jason Nguyen, Theo Prater, Gavin Proctor, Ramesh Rajet, uh, Josh Sanchez, or Jose Sanchez, excuse me, uh, Jeremy Serrano, Abix Shill, Logan Thompson, Ryan Thompson, Victor Villasalmil, sorry, uh, Drevian Webster, and Jamar Williams. Now, therefore, I, James A. Burry, Mayor of the City of Leesburg, do hereby proclaim the exceptional sportsmanship and athletic achievements of the 2022-2023 Leesburg High School Boys Weightlifting Team and urge all citizens of Leesburg to celebrate their extraordinary season and wish them continued success. Go Jackets. <laughs> So if, if you guys will come up, we'll take a picture, and then we got another one.
Oh, uh, no, we got two more. We don't. <laughs> So it would be remiss if we did not also recognize the Leesburg girls weightlifting. The girls team finished fourth in Olympic and fifth in traditional at the state tournament. The great news is that all the state medalists will return next year. The 2023 state team finals members are Justice Davis, uh, Michaela, that's what, Michaela Curtis, Nicole Martinez, uh, <coughs> Raleigh Ford, Michaela McKenzie, and Caitlin Brady. Uh, I would mention that Kayla Nord also finished sixth place, was a sixth place medalist in Olympic, and Mia Jones was a third place medalist in Olympic and a fifth place medalist in traditional. Nevia Wells was also a state runner-up in both Olympic and traditional. And uh, Caitlin Brady was also an individual state champion in both Olympic and traditional. Under Coach Boy, the weightlifting programs uh, for girls and boys have developed FHS AA 49 state medalists, seven state champions, 14 state runner-ups, 2019 FHSAA Girls Weightlifting Team State Runner-Up, 2020 FHSAA Girls Weightlifting Team State Runner-Up, and 2023 FHSAA Boys with Weightlifting Olympic State Champions. USA Weightlifting 35 FWF State Champion, 11 National Medalists, a national runner-up and a national champion. One of his former high school lifters is on the verge of making his first Olympic appearance for Team Canada in Olympic weightlifting. The future is very bright for the program. So if you guys would come up. Okay, this water reuse. Anyway, make sure I got the right thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, the last proclamation is for Water Reuse Week. Whereas safe, clean, and sustainable water resources are essential to Florida's environment, economy, and citizens and visitors, and whereas although Florida's water supplies, supplies are finite, the state's population and need for water resources continues to increase. And whereas Florida has established the encouragement and the promotion of water reuse as state objectives in chapters 373 and 403 Florida statutes, and whereas water reuse provides a a means for conserving and augmenting Florida's precious water resources and is key to the state's sustainable water future. And as part of the, those efforts, the city of Leesburg has implemented a water reuse program and supports the use of reclaimed water. And whereas by reusing approximately 900 million gall gallons of reclaimed water per day to conserve freshwater supplies and recharge our freshwater resources, Florida has risen, risen to be a national leader in water reuse. And whereas Florida's permitted use, reuse capacity is more than 2.4 billion gallons per day, which is approximately 87% of Florida's total permitted capacity for all domestic wastewater treatment facilities. And whereas 
May, typically a dry period when water demands are high, is a good time to educate residents about how to help save Florida's precious water resources through water reuse. And whereas the city of Leesburg has joined with waste, re, waste reuse, uh, uh, Florida, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection and the St. Johns River uh, Water Management District in encouraging and promoting water re reuse and conservation. I, James A. Burry, Mayor of City of Leesburg, do hereby proclaim May 14th through the 20th, 2023 as Water Reuse Week and call upon each citizen and business to help protect our precious water resources by practicing water conservation and the efficient and effective use of reclaimed water. Get out. Presentations tonight, we have none. Uh, item four on the list is uh, public comments. This section is reserved for members of the public to bring up matters, matters of concern or opportunities for praise. Issues brought up will not be discussed in detail at this meeting. Issues will either be referred to the proper staff or will be scheduled for consideration at a future city commission meeting. Comments are limited to three minutes. If you do come up, please state your name and give us your address. Joni Smalley, 1002 South 9th Street. I'm the executive director of the Leesburg Partnership, and we just wanted to let you all know from the board of directors and I that we really appreciate all the help from the city. We appreciate the patience for, from the citizens. Bike Fest went really well, and um, we appreciate everybody for helping us to make it happen. Thank you. Good evening, Dr. Erica Jasper. Um, I just want to give kudos and recognition. This past weekend, we hosted our annual cleanup, and I just want to give recognition to a few folks, um, Commissioner Alan Reisman and also Commissioner Barry for coming out and helping making that event a success. Also, in addition to um, Public Works Director Cliff, Cliff and also to Housing, um, Diane Clinton and also Sandra Wilson, and also all the volunteers that came out to make our city beautiful, we collected 6.5 tons of trash so we look forward to making this event bigger and better in the future so thank you to everyone for all your hard work and participation thank you, thank you. any other public comment hi there gary custer 8909 east treasure island avenue i got a handout i'd like to <laughs> first page is a uh, um, Leesburg City Ordinance, and what I want to talk about is the safety factor on County Road 44. Also, I want to talk about the annexation that's going on on 44, and <clears throat> you can read it. You don't have to read it out loud. <laughs> the, se the second page is the white spots on the second page shows the annexation that you've done already. And to me, that kind of looks like leapfrog uh, development because there's nothing joining them. It's just gonna create more traffic. Then when you go on to the third page, <clears throat> County Road 44, this was from a study in 2003 they never did a thing. It was supposed to be completed by uh, 22. They never started it. I went to the county board and 
I came here and I, I presented this and I was told, well, that's, that's a county problem. The road is a county problem. So I went to the county and I talked to uh, Fred. I, I did it to the board and then I talked to Fred Snyder and I talked to Jeff Eberhardt, Earhart. And I suggested a bypass. The next page shows you the old rail bed, the rail bed that runs up along the lake and then comes in at Orange Bend. Fred said he didn't like that idea because he didn't want to do a new road. And I said, well, then why don't you do the road there? The widen the road that's existing. So when you get down to the next page, that's where I live. East Treasure Island Avenue, <clears throat> you have Treasure Trove that's coming up at your next meeting. Uh, all of these people on the north side of Treasure Trove, I spoke to each and every one of them. They don't want the development at all. But when I explained to them that what if they just fixed the intersection? Could you live with that? They said as long as they don't, don't do anything in the road. But if you come down to the development notes, which I know you can't read because it's so small, <clears throat> in the development notes, it says that they would take 33 feet of their property to do that. Well, that's what made them all turn against it. So they want to put it clear down here on 44. When you do that, then you have three major dangerous intersections within a mile of on 44. After that, it just doesn't make sense. The next page is um, the cross that's on the corner. I came that way this today. I generally come that way to 44. There's three of them. My question is how many more before they do something on 44? And if you keep developing, you're creating the problem. Today, there are none of the houses in all the places you'd have approved, all the annexation that you've approved, none of the houses have been done. There isn't the first house built, and 44 is already a problem. So something has to be done with 44. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lisa Hayden, and I live at 35121 Dennis Road. Um, all I'm asking for is we realize Treasure Trove is coming. It's coming for the next meeting. And we had a nice meeting with Mayor Burry a couple of months ago. And you said, if we just move that entrance the way you need it, do you, will you support the development? Well, it took some canvassing, by mostly by Gary Custer. And we can say that if we can get an entrance way, the way it's somewhat depicted, I'm not an engineer, on the second page, and I believe that Gary has provided that also, we can support the development. We feel that they've come a long way. We just need them to come a little bit further. The reason why we're asking at this late date is we thought that that's where it was going to be. We thought it was going to be on East Treasure. It was miscommunication. There was a problem. Um, we've worked that out. We understand that they can put it on County Road 44, but we really would love the developer to move it to East Treasure. And the reason why we're bringing this to you is because that's what it takes to make the developer negotiate with us, just that little extra push. But we thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to seeing you at your next meeting. Any other public comment? <coughs> All right. Let's move on to the consent agenda, item five. Routine items are placed on the consent agenda to expedite the meeting. If the commission or staff wishes to discuss any item, the procedure is as follows. One, pull the item or items. 
<clears throat> from the consent agenda to vote on remaining items with one roll call vote. Three, discuss each pulled item and vote by roll call. Is there any items you'd like to pull? No items being pulled. That's a first. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, can yes. I just make a comment sure. on um, item B1? <clears throat> I spoke to Ms. Davis earlier today about just basically one provision in the terms and conditions that were sent over from the contractor. Um, so if there is approval tonight, I think um, our request would be approval subject to a minor change or revision on uh, paragraph 13 on the terms and conditions sheet. Um, but Aaliyah was out today and didn't have an opportunity to contact them about agreement on that particular change. Uh, so we think that we can probably get agreement on that, um, but we just aren't there quite yet. So the only request I would have would be just withholding signature on that terms and conditions sheet uh, pending negotiation on that one provision there. Which item was that, Grant? And that's item B1. And the specific provision was a venue provision. Um, in the event there were any dispute, then venue would be in Michigan or in Broward County, I believe, which would not be favorable to us. Um, there was also a limitation on liability in there that we just wanted to look a little bit more at. They were looking to cap their liability at their professional services fee. Um, so those were really the only two items that we were, oh, and an attorney's fee provision was one-sided in their favor. So we had attorney's fee provision, venue provision, and then cap on liability. Okay, so do we need a motion? I think you could consent? just. Or are we actually pulling this item, vote on consent, and then make a motion to it? I think that would probably be good. You could do the consent agenda by consent, pull this item to just approve that subject to, to attorney changes. review on the terms and condition sheet. Okay. All right. All right. So we have pulled item uh, aside, uh, 5B1. <clears throat> we have the rest of the items that we'll vote on. Do we need to enter them before or... Motion okay. for well, yeah. I'll make a motion to approve remaining items, uh, all remaining items on consent agenda. Second. All right. Roll call. Commissioner Connell? Yes. Commissioner Reisman? Yes. Commissioner Peterson? Yes. Commissioner Berry? Yes. Mayor Burry? Yes. Okay, so now we'll discuss that B1. Uh, if someone would introduce uh, item B1. Introduce by title one. Resolution of the City Commission of the City of Leesburg, Florida, authorizing the Mayor and City Clerk to execute an agreement with Edgewater Resources Florida, LLC, for professional services related to Venetian Cove Marina improvements for an amount not to exceed $213,100 and providing an effective date. For approval. Somebody make a motion. Uh, Grant, maybe you could spell that out for us one more time, what the motion should be. Yeah, I think the, uh, the motion would be a approval of the resolution um, subject to attorney review on the terms and conditions. So moved. Okay. Any discussion? Roll call. Commissioner Reisman? Yes. Commissioner Peterson? Yes. Commissioner Berry? Yes. Commissioner Connell? Yes. Mayor Burry? Yes. Okay, we'll move on to public hearings and non-routine items. Uh, second readings of ordinances, we have none. <laughs> First reading of ordinances, we have none. <laughs> uh, non-routine items, we have none. <clears throat> so we'll move on to informational reports which we have none. <laughs> so how about some city attorney items? Uh, no, sir, the, the only item I had this evening, we just went over, so I think okay. I'm good. Excellent. Uh, city manager items? None. None? Uh, All right, how about a roll call? <laughs> Commissioner I had some, but I didn't share. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Commissioner Berry? No, not a, none tonight. No. Commissioner Peterson? 
No, good night. Commissioner Reisman? Just a couple. I mean, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Connell? No, it's not. Mayor Burry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have one thing we need uh, we need to discuss up on the uh, up on the screen. You will see uh, the gauntlet has been thrown down. I, I saw a pretender in here. Maybe he's not here anymore. He stepped out already. Uh, he, he, he may have stepped out. Uh, that was Tyler Brandenburg. Uh, but as you will see on the uh, the second picture from the right is our own infamous. <laughs> Al, that is dancing uh, f for stepping out for education. Wanted to make sure everybody knew that and uh, come out and support and uh, bring home the gold, boss. We do all right. <laughs> can I? Can I? <laughs> and that's all I got tonight. No, we're going to have to nickname him for this one. <laughs> can I? I'm excited to see that at the Venetian yeah. Center. Oh, and, it's going to be. And beautiful. tickets are selling quick, so yes. make sure you get, get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. <laughs> all right. Uh, motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Second. We're good. Thank you. Three. First.